you have a story to tell us about the regatta? I do have a story to tell about the regatta. So, interestingly enough, we were at the regatta. We had walked from down down at the point up to the Clemente Bridge to have some food. Um, one thing led to another. My my mother left her bag on the top of the bridge and sat down to to feed Christopher, and someone walked by and took her bag. Um, in her bag was a thankfully small amount of money, um, uh, some cards, and her phone more than anything. Um, fortunately enough, I quickly handed her my phone. I signed out of Find My iPhone and had her log in. Um, it quickly, the, the iPhone appeared down on the river walk at PNC Park and continued to move mm-hmm. away from us down towards, if you're familiar with that area, the Tilted Kilt, Bettis, Grills, TJE, that type of area. Um, I ran quick enough to, and, and while I was running, I was trying to activate all of the lost features on the device because she doesn't keep a passcode on her device. Um, and if you've ever been, have you ever been through the lost phone feature? No. And, uh, not completely, so, No. So, so one of the interesting things is, so, so typically my experience with Find My iPhone is, hey, did I leave it somewhere or let me ping it and make an audible alert so I can figure out where it is in the room? Yeah. Um, when you tap the lost mode button, it walks you through a number of prompts. Um, it asks you, do you want to, do you want to, put a new passcode on the device. So I said, yes. And then it lets you remotely set the passcode. Um, you can't unlock the device without that passcode. Um, you have, it then asks you, um, do you want to display a message on the phone? Hmm. So you can actually have it display text. Mm-hmm. I didn't want it to display text because I figured it was stolen. I didn't want them to know that I knew that they had walked away with the phone. Um, you can allow it to have a button on the lock screen that allows it to call one phone number and you can program that remotely. Um, also didn't want to use that feature, but it is there. Um, and then you can start audible alerts. So I opted out of all of those additional features primarily because I didn't want the person alerted to the fact that I was trying to find them. Um, so after, after, about a half mile of jogging and catching up to the person. Um, now I'm in a mass of people cause it's the regatta. I'm in a mass of people and I have no clue where amongst the crowd the phone could be. Um, so I got to the point where I was kind of, uh, this dot was here and, and my dot was here. So we were in close proximity, obviously. Um, and then I started setting off the audible alert tone, which I guess also makes the phone vibrate. Not only is it loud, but it's audible. Um, and I could hear it. So following the person, I kept setting it off over and over again, um, <laughs> which then prompted them to pull it out of their backpack, walk over to a small area, and they were trying to, to shut it up. Um, so I said, hey, that, that's my mom's phone. Can I, can I please have it back? Um, they, they didn't have her bag or anything else, but fortunately the phone was recovered. So things like the cards could easily be canceled. Um, all of the pictures and whatnot on the device, um, were, were obviously back secured. Um, and he, he claimed he found it on the, on the side of the, like in the dirt, um, which I kind of believe because the phone was moving at a very fast pace for quite some time, then stopped in the location and then slowly started moving again. So it was as if someone was walking quickly with the bag, rifling through it, found the phone, thought, oh, this could be tracked, tossed it off to the side, and then kept going. Um, so it shows the power of Find My iPhone. Um, I wouldn't recommend, if you think you're going to be in danger, <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to, to, to go into apartment buildings. I've heard of people going into apartment yeah, buildings, pounding yeah. on doors, etc., um, but it, it was definitely valuable in this case, um, especially because of all of the contents on the phone, phone numbers, et cetera. I mean, it, it definitely check it out. I, I've actually started, I, I've actually used the Android version as well, um, to locate not a stolen device, but a device I couldn't remember where I put it. Um, 
and it'll get you down to at least a, a, a pretty good location of the device. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, 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 and, and, and again, you were like in public in the regatta and I, I presume they didn't look like a person that would have stolen the phone, right? Like they like, like they gave off a vibe that you were going to be okay approaching them. Oh yeah. They definitely gave off a vibe. I was going to be okay. And the guy was quasi apologetic, mm-hmm. which was, was odd. So it, it really it kind of being in a big group of public, there were three police sitting on a bench, mm-hmm. like probably eight <laughs> feet from us. Yeah. Um, so if it got so, weird. So, yeah. So, so I didn't feel like I was in any danger. You had an adventure, sir. Yeah, it was definitely an adventure. That's awesome. But it's, it's awkward to try to go through all those settings when you're trying to also keep up a, a certain pace to catch up with the device. I imagine you're like, oh, that's an interesting feature. No, I got to get this phone. 